This video is about set notations for 7th graders. 7th graders, this is your virtual classroom. The following are some simple reminders to make your learning as smooth and easy as possible. Prepare a sheet of paper and a pen for answering the exercises. To ensure that you understand and follow through the concepts in the video, just pause and replay the video as needed. Now, let's get started. Here is what you need to know. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to illustrate kinds of set notations and convert set builder notation into roster or listing notation and vice versa. What's in? A set is a collection of well-defined distinct objects. It is represented by a capital letter symbol. Sets are simply using capital letters. For instance, Set A is a set of malls in Cebu City. Set B is a set of Catholic churches in Cebu City. Set C is a set of historical landmarks in Cebu City. Set D is a set of Cebuano celebrities. And set E is a set of man-made tourist destinations in Cebu City. Now, take a look at the capital letters that represent each set. What's new? Can you give me an example of a simple notation? In the two boxes are sets written in set notation. Can you guess what set notation they are written in? Let's have the first box. Set A, where X such that X is a counting number from 1 to 13. Set B, where X such that X is a primary color. Set C, where X such that X is an even number. And set B, where X such that X is a day in a week that starts with a D. Now let's check out the second box. Set A are numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, 13. Set B are the colors red, yellow, blue. Set C are the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Set B is a null set. Now looking at our sets of examples, what kind of set notations are they written in? Let's find out. We have set builder notation. And we have a roster or listing notation. Taking our first set of example, is it written in set builder notation or roster listing notation? Well, let's check it out. And there you have it. Our first set of examples are written in set builder notation. Now what about our second set of examples? And you got it right. It is written in a roster listing notation. Now, what is the difference between these two kinds of notation? Let's take a look at these notations and observe them. Again, you can pause and replay this video as needed. Here we go. 
set of builder notation is a mathematical shorthand that gives specific details about a set. It describes the elements in the set. Roster listing notation is a list of all the elements in a set separated by commas and surrounded by braces. There you have it. So, you can replay the part of the video where we gave the examples for set builder notation and roster listing notation. Now this, we have set A, our numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, 13. Then we have set C, our numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. Do you notice anything similar between set A and set C? Well then, you got it right. The sets are using ellipses. Now what is the difference between the ellipses in set A and the ellipses in set C? Now, here we have it. In set A, the ellipsis is between two numbers, 5 and 13. Now, this listing is not infinite because there is an element after the ellipsis. In our case, or in this case, there is 13 after the ellipsis. Okay? And for set C, the ellipsis is at the end of the last number in the set. So, the listing is infinite because there is no more element after the ellipsis. So that it will be easier for you to describe the numbers using set builder notation, remember these kinds of numbers. An odd number is any number that cannot be divided exactly by 2. For example, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so on. An even number is any number that can be divided by 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so on. A natural number is also called a counting number. These are numbers from 1 to infinity, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. Now, a whole number are numbers from 0 to infinity. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. We also have prime number is a whole number that is greater than 1, which is a result of multiplying itself and 1. For example, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Composite number, on the other hand, is a whole number that is a result of multiplying two numbers except one. For example, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15. Factors are numbers we can multiply to get a number. For example, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And so, 2 and 3 are factors of 6. Multiples are numbers we get after multiplying the number by any number which is not a fraction. For example, 0 times 3 is 0, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. Now, 0, 3, 6 are multiples of 3. Now again, pause and replay this video as needed. Here's what's more. Activity 1.2. Now it's your turn. Instructions. Convert the roster notation into set builder notation and vice versa. Let's take a look at this column here. These are the sets in roster or listing notation. And this column here are the sets written in set builder notation. What you are going to do is you are going to transform sets written in roster listing notation into 
set builder notation and set builder notation transform into roster listing notation and, and there you have it these are the numbers that you have to work on simple very simple now again write this in a separate sheet of paper and don't forget to submit your work on time can you give me a thumbs up there you have it thank you very much now here are what you need to remember x slash x notation is read as x such that x the ellipsis is denoted by three dots meaning to continue with the same pattern every set can be notated using set builder or a roster or a listing method set builder and roster methods are simple set notations in a writing sets and there you have it four important concepts in this video congratulations you just finished lesson two of module one of quarter one of math seven set of modules this has been your teacher miss mary kate get involved